Okay, hello YouTube, what is up, and welcome back to another aircraft review from Xpilot P, me. Um, basically, in front of you, you can see the DHC-6 Twin Otter from r and Designs, and it is amazing, I'm going to tell you that, um, so, um, there's a lot in store, in store for you in this review. And before I get going with this aircraft and get it started, do like a test flight, uh, store and everything like that. I'm first going to show you what you actually get in this package and before we do that I'm just going to tell you where I am um, so what air airport and where I am is the what comes in the KLAS Glitter Gulch uh, package so we are at uh, Kilo Bravo Vector Uniform Willery City Money, I think that's how you pronounce it, M-O-N-I, Money, Money, I don't know, uh, don't hate me if I got it wrong. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty much home to um, rescue helicopters or just normal helicopters as you can see in the background, general aviation, aircraft, um, so it's, it's quite a small airport but it, it's very nice for these small um, terms and these small reviews from small aircraft. Um, so here you got another um, Twin Otter and another one here. I believe they're Twin Otters. They should be. Um, yeah, and it's very highly detailed. And you do get a quite some uh, runways. So you get one runway, two runways, and another one here. So that's three. And that is it, I believe. Yeah, that is it. Sorry that I don't didn't already check that out. And then you just got uh, the nice terminal, very nice uh, parking area for your cars. Um, and yeah, just some hangars in the background where you can store your aircraft. And yeah, so it's very nice. And then around you, of course, the stad, the like typical KLAS canyons or however you want to call it, like mountains. Um, so that's very nice and today we're just gonna take off from this runway I know it, it does look like it's closed it probably is closed but I'm still just gonna take off because it is a uh, very small it's 27 right and we're gonna land 27 right as well so we're just gonna take off head there bit up turn around do a stall um, go to the left turn around and then land down here uh, over here you can see there's a refueling station, so if you have a small uh, pipe or, or whatever, you can go here and refuel the aircraft, or pretend to at least. Um, and then th there are just some more hangars here, and some houses, and that is pretty much it. So now I'm just going to show you what you get with the um, Twin Otter. So with the bundle you get three, or no, four actually types of this aircraft. You get the standard one. Um, so just DHE Twin Otter, then you get the Twin DHE Twin Otter Tundra, that is with a bit bulkier wheels and a bit, you know, blown up wheels. Uh, then the Otter Ski, that is obviously just with our ski mountings on the bottom. Um, and last, the float, so you got um, floats on the bottom of your wheels. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, these four different types. So this is the float version, and as you can see, it is a lot bigger, or tall if you want to say. So let's just go a bit closer. So as you can see, this is a bit weird. I've never seen this kind of front wheel for the floats, but oh well. So this is pretty nice. So you can put in the gear and then also just land on water. And I might do that later on because there is like small sea there later. Um, so we're just gonna hop inside and I'll show you what is a bit different of with this type of plane open. And then of course you need to go down these steps onto this and then I'll go down. So that's just a bit different. And the same thing with for the passengers. So basically what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna get this going well, actually, what I'm actually going to do is get this going for you, and then I'll get back to you guys, and then we're just going to do a quick water landing, and then I will continue with the other types of this aircraft. 
All right, so we got the plane started. Everything's up. Uh, we changed the livery. I think it would be a bit more fitting. Uh, left this airport, and we can see the water over there. So we actually we're just gonna put on our landing lights. There we go. And have a little look see around the place. So those are our engines. There we go. It's a nice wing view again. And from the back and from the front. If you have any um, recommendations where I can put my wing, uh, my views, put my camera views, they'll be great. Okay. So we'll slow down a bit. I'm not sure what the if you put on the same flaps for water landing. You probably do. I'm not sure though, so I'm just gonna still. Um, put them down and this is actually a nice feature what I just saw um, you can see what position the flaps are um, at this little bar here and there's you know standard compass and then the overhead panel with a lot of lights friction all that um, then here the throttle mixture and prop and also flaps were up there and good GPS uh, some radios standard avionics everywhere uh, engine fuel uh, this is a bit different so a bit different of a yoke and that's also new don't know what that is though so have to maybe trim probably this trim oh, yeah I'm guessing it's trim and then obviously you can open the door which I'm not going to do uh, right now Right, slow, um, right, let's get a bit slower now, lower our flaps just a bit more, and then what we want to do maybe is land near near like an island so if we go down we can get rescue which you know isn't gonna happen but this is let's just just play with it just go with it all right let's have a look to the right it's a pretty steep descent actually as you can see there all right slow our speed just a bit more down to full. Let's bring our throttle a bit up or we've got a stall which we don't want because we're not going to test that out and as you can see my gear is up. We, I'm just going to show you that it actually goes up. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Okay, we're not near anything. That's bad because we wanted to get help. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Right, getting closer and closer, which is good, obviously. This also has reverse thrust, so that's also pretty handy. I'm not going to use it in the water, though. Who knows what can go wrong there. I mean, maybe you do use it in real life in the water, but I'm just not going to deal with it. Let's have a look. Outside. Looking nice. Have a look again. All right. Okay, level out. And let's do a flare. And we've touched down in the water. Pretty nice. Actually, we might just do reverse. But as you can see, this plane, of course, is excellent if you do want to land in the water. Because this does have this floaty feature which is pretty nice 
and yeah so that was actually we might just also just do a takeoff so bring our flaps up a bit and we are bouncing a lot so let's just get the throttle up full thrust and let's just get it to not bounce that much which is pretty fairly difficult there we go now it's working and lift up there we go and that was a takeoff and landing with this version so now I'm just going to load the next one and here it is the ski version and I thought this would be fitting British Antarctic survey survey um, and you know Antarctic ski makes pretty makes sense um, so again this is just another uh, type of the aircraft but the inside and everything is just pretty much still the same so we're not gonna go ahead and uh, take off with this one because I just wanted to show you guys um, this type with the skis so now I'm just gonna go head to the next one and this is the Tundra version it's pretty much exactly the same uh, but as I already mentioned before the only difference is are the wheels they are just a bit more bulky so a bit more blown up uh, a bit more air and um, so it's good if you land in the tundra because you do need need to take the impact a bit more and if there's mud and everything that these are way better than just the sanded versions or the ski or the um, the water or the so the floater version so I don't need to show you think anything inside because it is again um, like the ski version yeah, exactly the same. So uh, we're, not, we're also not going to do landing uh, because the impact is just a bit different. But that's it. So then we're just going to go to the normal version and uh, go a quick start up uh, and show you a bit inside of the plane this time. And this is the standard version um, with everything just normal, normal wheels, and everything else is also just normal. Um, before we go ahead and take a quick look inside, we're just I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the liveries that you get. Um, and there are some uh, free d liveries that you can download on the Oak Store. Um, I haven't done that yet, so these are just the normal default that you get with the plane. So this is just the normal uh, blank uh, white one. Uh, the next one is just a bit different, a bit more darker. Um, I don't know exactly how it's called, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is British Airways, so I probably will be using this one a lot um, because I do live in Britain. And the next one is British Antarctic Survey. Uh, this doesn't really fit this one, but um, you know, it's it's still a super cool livery. And the next one is also an OK one. It's Flyby, which I'll actually also be using quite a lot, and definitely in like um, tropical. Uh, versions, uh, sceneries or airports, so I don't know, like in Tenerife or so places like that. And this one is just a scan. No, I think it's Maldives. Yeah, it's, I think it's Maldives air, air taxi. Yeah, Maldivian air taxi. So this is also actually a pretty nice livery. Um, I might also be using this one um, a bit. Depends if I am actually gonna um, get some airports in the Maldives. Um, and that'll be pretty cool and this one we also saw before I believe yes it was the I think Canada what what was it Canada something something um, and yes yeah, so that was it but for this one we're gonna go with the flyby uh, liver and yeah so now I'm just gonna go in the cockpit oops I said I wanted to go in the Hello. What? That's weird. Something went a bit horribly wrong. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right. So we're inside the cockpit. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oops. 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 Um, open the doors. There aren't any windows here. Uh, so I just open these doors for both sides go through here it's actually a pretty nice cabin so you got what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seats for seventeen passengers 
um, and the windows are actually also pretty cool I actually like them um, these lights you cannot operate them uh, but there are cabin lights and then for the passengers you oops that's not what I wanted to do sorry about that you open that and then when you're outside oops um, you can see that there are stairs for the passengers or they would have to climb up uh, that's pretty far uh, for the pilot there is a small uh, well you probably can't really take that but you probably have to or you just have to get on the nose wheel um, or you can just open this and then go through there I'm afraid you can't open that backward um, door on the other side I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if it is a door and this I literally just figured out now because I did not know that you can open this door um, but this is again just luggage uh, pretty obvious and uh, we're just going to go ahead and walk around uh, have a look at the elevators also I also like the back of this um, it's nice very very thin here though but I, I like the way these are posi positioned uh, move the, uh, the rudder and have a quick look from the back here it's also pretty nice um, get the elevators here and the ailerons and we're not going to move the flaps yet so and there again there's no door on this side and you cannot operate this one i mean this probably is just like um for an, an emergency so we don't want to be messing around with that now and what we'll do is just go inside the cockpit again and we're going to leave these doors open to be honest and that's pretty much it for inside the cabin so we're just gonna go ahead and um, start this plane up so we're actually just gonna go and uh, close this one and the same with here and it's fairly simple super simple actually to uh, get this plane running I just had to watch a video two times and then make notes and then and now I know it off by heart so it's pretty easy um, I'm not sure if this is the correct way how to start it, but this is the way I do it So what we're first going to do is go, go here and put the battery on and DC master on And once that is done we can go here here put the anti-ice and Position and after that for later when we start our Engines we'll just put the mixture forward because I cannot get um, these mixture levers to uh, move when I move my mixture on my side tech uh, throttle quadrant so that's just a bit weird that's the only problem that I have until now um, that's uh, not super bad um, and we're not gonna so we're just gonna put we're actually not gonna go any further because we are gonna let ourselves get towed so we're just gonna get the plug in the tug master again I did t I think I used this in every single review um, in the last two three days and I'm uh, I am gonna do a review on this probably tomorrow so we'll probably see it on Tuesday um, but we don't know so we still need to check that out this probably is actually a bit too small for this aircraft so we actually might want to take a bigger one but we will check actually no it looks fine this looks almost perfect and just gonna go ahead and turn around I mean we could turn around by ourselves but we're just not gonna do that um, so we're just gonna wait and actually turn around and as I said before there are a lot of twin otters here and I do not know what that was for this happens so often in X-Men, they really should fix that up. And it's all and it's pretty much with every single plane. It actually might also just be with a tug master or with the with any tug that you get. Um but you know, it's not too bad. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and let him line ourselves up here, that way. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start the engines. So we will just uh, tell him to go straight now. So that's perfect, actually. Almost, almost perfect. And that should be fine here. We can 
say goodbye to him. Uh, goodbye. And when he's off into the distance, just click that away. And now we have free space to get our engines rolling. So we're just gonna get a bit of fuel into our engines. We're just gonna, we're first just gonna put on the right engine. And what we first wanna do is open this door and, and yell clear. Close it again and everybody should be clear. Looks like it. So that is always good. And over here we're just gonna put on the right igniter on and get this thing started. So you just drag that to start and right. And we'll, we'll have a look, see if it's starting. Yes, it is. That is very good. Good, so that is starting. We can have a see at these gauges. And as you can see, it is moving, so that's very good. Prop RPM, looking good. And we can go ahead and start the left engine or uh, the first engine. So you go up here again, put on left uh, engine ignition, do this to the same thing, left start, have a look, see outside, and wait until this puppy fires up, and there we go, it's firing up, so that's perfect, exactly how it wanted to, so everything is working fine as it should be, and good to go ahead and look outside. So that is all good. And I should just put up the volume a bit. Okay, this is looking good. They're all both started. Let's just have a check of these gauges. Uh, everything is looking fine. Um, all right, so that is all good. Um, after that, we wanna just put on this one to, oops, reset and on uh, the left generator to same thing so reset and on uh, bleed air put that on no smoking fasten seat belt leave that there we can put on the taxi light piece we have got a taxi now uh, put on the avionics master and the panel lights taxi lights are on as i just said these we can put these on and what these are uh, here we go so this is all lit up now so these probably come from these lights if they are even lights I have no idea uh, so that's pretty nice as well so that's everything done in there now we are just going to get these fired up click that and this is I love this new and as you can see there's also a pop-up screen get this on get this on and get that going and now we just need to click the end and this is you know good GPS um, I haven't used it yet so still need to still gotta learn how to use this uh, GPS and then I will probably also just do flights with this one um, quite a lot so we're gonna put our flaps down there we go that's perfect tower taxi lights are on yep as you can see by the nose wheel so they're on that's perfect and that is it for now so now we're just gonna release the parking brake which is located down here and gonna get ourselves going and taxi to 27 right go left now uh, and go onto this taxiway. There we go. And actually, we forgot to do something. We need to go up, put all the other lights. Oh no. No, no, no. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Have a check of they're all beaming. All the lights are beaming, 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 beaming. Everything good. Good. Alright, we can continue. Go past the fuel station. What, what I actually show you guys the fuel station. So what we want to do is we are a bit too big to go exactly on the line as it says, but we will just go turn a bit now, probably I would say. I mean we 
Ooh, that was very close. We almost hit it. Oh, God, that was literally too close. All right, so let's say we're, we're fueling up. Okay, we're fueled up. Done and ready to do a small test flight. And there it is. The runway with the yellow cross on it. All right. Turn right now onto the runway, 27 right. Bit too late, actually. All right. We're here, we can put off our taxi lights, turn on our landing lights. Even though it doesn't really make short sense, because if, I mean, I think that's what you would do. Um, so put off our taxi light, put on our landing lights. I mean, I've seen a lot of people put their landing lights on, so I guess that's right. And when you take off, even though they shouldn't do landing lights, then they should just call them landing slash takeoff lights. <laughs> oh well, who cares? All right, so this is all done. Everything looks good. Avionics, everything is good. Uh, let's just let's actually see if um, our our flight controls are working. So ailerons, yeah, they're working. Uh, our elevators, elevators, elevators. Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you. Uh, elevators are working. That's perfect, and we are ready. Flaps are set. Lights are on. Gear is down, obviously, because you can't put it up on this version. And full throttle. Alright. And we have hit our takeoff speed. And pull up. Positive rate of climb. Looking good. We'll just leave our flaps up for just as, just for a bit. Or oh, flaps down. I mean, uh, we can take them up now. And do a quick roll to the left, and then just do see how this handles. I mean, obviously, I already know how it handles just to show you guys. So it's very fun. Um, it's, it's actually pretty easy to handle. Um, and it's also a good sized aircraft, so for small flights. Head a bit more left, there we go. Now we're pretty much, yeah, now we're parallel to the runway. Have a little look to the left. There's our airport that we just took off from. Very nice. I go a bit more to the right, so we fly parallel. And now we are flying parallel. There we go. All right. We can put off our landing lights. So put off. Actually, no, we'll just leave them on because we're going to land anyway soon now. Uh, flaps are up. Uh, now we're just going to do a stall. Alright, so pull up. There it is. Stall is there, and tip to the left. Normally there was um, um, a noise for the stall um, when I did this already, uh, but we didn't hear that right now, so that's a bit weird. If that was a stall. That was a good stall. Um, normal stall that the that the left wing goes to the or plummets down to the ground. And we'll just have a little look around here, what you'll get, or just to show you guys. Oh, obviously, obviously the normal radios and everything. And we actually forgot to put this on. Stand by, there we go. There we go, so that's nice. Little watch clock, how you want to call it. Uh, yeah, that was it. So, we'll just turn around now. And head back to the runway and do a landing and we'll park on the ramp and then that's probably it for the review. Alright, so let's turn around. Oh, a bit too low. 
A bit too slow as well. Uh, it should be coming up any second now. There it is. And uh, we are heading for the right runway. So not the runway with the puppy lights. Um, but the one just next to it. Uh, so the one that's closest to the uh, terminal or to the you know, runway. Uh, airport. Normal airport. And we can use the puppy lights for the uh, left runway because it is pretty much on the same um, same height or same uh, distance from where we are. So that's okay. Uh, so we are a bit low. That's fine. Put down our flaps just a bit more. So about 25 degrees we are right now. Put it down to 40 degrees. We are a bit too high. Alright, looking good. Coming over some buildings to the right. And there's a fence, and to the right there are all these hangars. This has reverse thrusters, so just gonna do flare and it's gonna be close. Alright, pull up. Now we've touched down, reverse thrusters engaged. Uh, brake a bit, a little bit of brake. And that was all fine, so we landed safe. Now we're just gonna go taxi back to the ramp where we started from. Go a bit slower now. Uh, let's just go. Turn off landing lights and put on our taxi lights. There we go. As a problem, we actually got to turn around. All right, so I'll actually get back to you guys when I've turned around and I'm on the taxiway again. All right, so we're back. So, so yeah, so our taxi lights are on. There we go. Um, flaps are up. Oh, we're just gonna go take a left at here. So here, take a left. And then we'll find a parking space uh, where we actually left from. That's probably the best. It probably fits the most. So actually, let's just have a little check where it was. Yeah, I see it. Uh, we actually took the wrong turn. That's matter, matter. So I'll take a right here. Quick. And done. See, that was okay. No, it wasn't. All right. Actually, let's see this properly. So there we go. I was a bit too late. Alright, who cares? Alright. 
Looking good. Put the pipe brake on. Pipe brake is on. We'll shut down the engine. And as you can see, the engine is shutting down. So that is good. And actually, I just wanted to show you guys something which is pretty cool that they modeled. Is that you can actually, you know, with the prop, you can actually um, see how the fans or, I don't know, the turbines or uh, feathers, um, how they are moving. So that's pretty cool. Um, so just put that off. There we go. Um, and put up, shut off the other one. So engine number two. And we can do the same thing with the feathers or the prop. Uh, there we go. So also shut that. So we shut that down. And everything is looking good. See the passengers are all right. Oh, we've got no passengers, but they look fine. So we'll just open that and we'll also open our door. There we go. Uh, we don't need fire pull. We are just actually just going to shut everything down. So we don't need more any. So we can put off all these lights. We don't need any more bleeder. We can shut, oops, shut this off. I don't know if this is correct how to shut the plane off but I'm just gonna uh, do it um, as I'm doing right now so we'll put these off as well they're off um, put that off anything else on good everything is off we actually forgot to switch these off individually but we can actually do that right now so that's off 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 and off uh, put this to off as well. Good, so everything is off now, which means that we have pretty much completed our review of the DHC6 Twin Otter. Um, actually, we need to cut the fuel flow, so that's all done. Yeah, so that was it. So we'll just have a quick look around again. We can put these up. Oops, sorry about that. We can put these up. Uh, put it up, and that was a light that I forgot to mention to you guys. So we can't put this off though. Maybe only when, maybe only when the uh, battery and everything's on. Oh well. So again, the lights back here are also off. So we'll just have a last look around, so uh, you guys can remember this if you want to get this plane. So we'll just go down here. And have a look at these textures here. We can actually still move it. Um, oops. And yeah, so that was the review of the DHC. We well, I'll just open this. So passengers, feel free to go uh, get um, a luggage. Doesn't it doesn't have to be yours. You can just get somebody else's. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was the review done. I said this quite long, quite often. I don't care to be honest. Uh, I can. Uh, well, well, I'm actually just gonna, you know, give me a, give my own opinion. So I can highly, highly recommend this plane. It is super fun to fly. Um, once I figured out the GPS navigation, um, how to get all that done, then I am definitely using this a lot because it is just super nice. And also, if you fly, uh, if you like um, small prop airliners, uh, small aircrafts um, for passengers and all stuff like that that this is great for you um, because this you can pretty much take wherever you want to go in normal cities normal areas a tundra you know if you something like in ski areas so on the Alps or somewhere somewhere like that or not or Antarctica you can also take it in the water so if you're flying in the Maldives or I don't know anywhere like that um, this is perfect so I can super highly recommend this plane it is just incredible and yes that was me so just a quick saying that um, I hope you liked it please like and subscribe if you haven't already uh, give me comments uh, I love comments and again um, help me with my uh, dangerous airports I'm probably gonna stop my fly around the world series and gonna uh, delete the videos because I don't 
uh, seems like they're not popular so I'm just gonna go and delete those someday um, and yeah that was it so I hope you liked it and safe flying see ya <laughs>